hope I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Trust a tourist advertisement. Now get out. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the Flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me about this Flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar. And the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia, gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. So I can't really have much of a market for philosophy these days. There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to. This city is insular, its ways mysterious, 
No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Oh, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well... Perhaps we can help each other. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damned city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just... refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth or ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. Rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? 
Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Fera. You have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. the house where this all happened. For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. I've said everything I know. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Five cards short of a full house. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. like this before. Master for work. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much.
Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds, and, okay, my head began to burst, and he woke up, and after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will, Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was out of starve. Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I... No. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I... don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... gone. Hey, have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or, okay, did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. And the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Take this, ape face. <laughs> yeah, run. Okay, let's see what we have here. This ape face. <laughs> what? Yeah, run. Yeah, run. <laughs> Take this ape face. <laughs> Yeah, run! 
Take this, ape face. <laughs> What? Yeah, run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> Yeah, run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> yeah, run! What? Take this, ape face. <laughs> Take this, ape face. Yeah, run! What's happening? Please, spare me, mister. Put that away, newcomer, or you're gonna regret it. Take this, ape face. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, run! What's Happening. Take this, ape Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Choo choo. <clears throat>
I gave you clear instructions, did I not? The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere! Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Bye. You want a drink? Come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh. It's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the Flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. I think I'd like my bullet back. It is what it is. The truth will out soon. Me, I just caught an early glimpse. <sighs> Why do I feel like I got scammed? Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere! You want a drink? Don't do that again.
them! Get them! Oh. What the? Get them! Oh. What the? Get them! Oh. What the? Get them! Oh. Love it. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots.
even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate.
Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. My condolences, Mr. Thorpe. Hope for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. I don't know exactly. I have some suspects, but I need to investigate further. What kind of private eye are you? A thorough one. When I find him, I'll tell you. Fine. No one leaves the port until then. Find me that dirt bag, and I'll help you with anything you need. Familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're well, everywhere. How miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure? I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> So you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea, others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, Better to be a coward and live, than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Robert Throgmorton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't what me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throckmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. What the? Get them! Oh! What the? Get them! Oh! What the? 
Get them! Oh. What the? Get them! Oh. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so... I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspect it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well... Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throg Mortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs, always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. What kind of... Uh, why do you, you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouthers' bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head? A hidden body? One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. 
You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. Want a drink? Just as I suspected, the Innsmouther Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family, and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kate, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or uh, I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the Flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calling from the depths. Her words, exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the Flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. You mentioned the Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... 
Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Ah, uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Drink. Stop it.
Never again, they say. Much of this I chug down, the visions always return. Much. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you though, mister. You wanna stay on here, you stop making all that noise. Noise? What, what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. 
Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well, next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. I'm watching you, newcomer. I'm watching you, newcomer.
Stop it. Hey, knock it off. The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Do you still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but tell our reader something more about yourself. I'm a former Navy diver, served on the USS Cyclops, and well, after the war, I found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? I've been investigating disappearances all around Massachusetts. The missing people all seem to have ended up here for some reason. Hmm. The mystery of the newcomers. And you want to know why they're here? <laughs> well, they aren't very forthcoming about it. And it doesn't help that most of them aren't thinking straight, to put it mildly. I think that's enough for now. I <laughs> can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. Um... Maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. See you later. Stay safe.
yourself. Officer? Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Do you and I have a problem, officer? No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police archive in the meantime? You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And hate me well, you're on mighty thin ice and I'll be under it when it breaks. Thank you. 
Knock it off! Something you like. Cheaper than the rest. Patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A uh, visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the Flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Y your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. Sounds serious. Hmm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? Experimental medicine. Well, I guess it can't be any worse than the asylum in Boston. Count me in. Uh, I'm delighted to hear that, Mr. Uh, Reed. Charles Reed. Mr. Reed, take these pills with some water. They're a potent measure against parasites. Contact me when you feel improvement.
What the hell did you give me, Doc? Is something wrong? You seem perfectly healthy to me. Your medicine blinded me, and then it, it gave me these visions. Worse than a blow to the head. What are you trying to pull? Intriguing. These side effects are a new development. I'll have to run some more tests. Let me know if anything else happens, won't you? Looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other, the vomiting humanoids. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost... human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address.